Do you think that the outbreak will be eliminated? I do believe we've still got the ability to stamp it out. I do. And we're keeping working along, we're working uh, with that focus in mind. Will Auckland basically have to be at zero cases before it drops to two? Yeah. No, it wouldn't have to be at zero cases, but it would have to be well contained. This outbreak is different because we do have vaccines and they are likely making a difference for the outbreak. But actually, our management of it has still been within our old alert level framework and the decisions we make there around whether we've got good containment regardless of vaccine. Is it fair to say that 90% is not a target, it's a bare minimum? 90 is what makes life feel more normal. And I think that's what people are looking for. They're saying, what is going to make the difference to us uh, in getting back to a way of life that doesn't have the anxiety that everyone's had for a year and a half? Vaccines are the golden ticket, but we need as many people to take them up as possible. How, how different would life look in a post-90 environment what would the new alert yeah. levels look like? What we're looking for are um, public health measures that are sustainable, that you can actually carry on without them having huge impacts on your daily life, um, that mean businesses can carry on without having a huge impact on, on them. Things that you can incorporate into a bit of a new normal, but that is all uh, dependent on us just getting those vaccine rates up. Six weeks ago, just before um, this outbreak, I asked you about that vaccine passes being, that were being used overseas at that point. Yeah. And you said you weren't comfortable with it. You said people would not consider it freedom of movement if you're only able to go and partake in activities if you're vaccinated. That's a very different style of approach. Yep. What's changed since then? Having panned around now, I can see how they can fit into a toolbox that isn't exclusive. Some countries have used them initially for a period of time. It's helped increase vaccination rates and then they haven't had to continue using them. Other countries use uh, uh, vaccine passes or certificates alongside other options. There's a mixture of tools and we're going to spend the next few weeks working up some variations on that and then sharing um, publicly what that might look like in the future. Would you be happy to have me vaccinated? If it... Absolutely, absolutely. If it went through our process as we have every step of the way, it would have been considered by MedSafe and then our expert group before we make a decision. For the 12 pluses, we sat around as both politicians and decision makers and as parents. So that's what will guide us, not what any other country does, but what our experts tell us. It will get to a point where it's very hard to get the people. What, what is left? What do you, does that take carrot and stick? Yeah, or? yeah it probably does. And we're seeing lots of innovation around carrot. And I think we should just keep encouraging that. We're, we're not necessarily going to come up with all of the ideas that are going to make a difference. So I see our job as um, just supporting those who are out there on the ground in these vaccination programs to know what will make a difference. On stick, I, you know, I feel like our job is to put the information out there, you know, and people can see that if, if we don't have high rates, what it means day to day. A while ago, you revealed that you'd always hankered for a Shackleton tattoo. In the spirit of celebrating needles, would you commit to going ahead with a tattoo if we hit 90% vaccination rate? That is, that is uh, not the question I thought you would ask me. Do you know what? There, if, if I thought putting myself on the line in that way would get New Zealand to 90%, there's actually quite a few things I would agree to do. That's how much it means to me. Everyone's given up so much already for that same goal. We're now just asking people to, to do something a little extra to help with that. Mm. But not quite a tattoo. Oh, absolutely. Let me come back to you. <laughs> <laughs>